Hey, what's up my fellow woodchuckers? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Echo CS 800 here. I had her for about, about a full year. And uh, so I'm gonna do my, my take on it and do a little test so you can see how she cuts. And yeah, so sorry about the camera angle. It was pouring down rain here earlier. Uh, I'm gonna grab a log there and I'll probably take it back to the garage because I gotta head back there real quick anyhow. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you there. So today I'm going to be giving my thoughts, my review, and a little test, a little demonstration of the Echo CS 800 here. I really like this saw. I've been using it all year. I probably ran 10-15 gallons of fuel through it. So I got a lot of hours on this thing and you know, my overall opinion is for the money, for the price point, which we'll get into in one second here, it's a very good saw. Uh, we was cutting today just a little bit. I was busy. I had to run and do a bunch of things. So my buddy had his husky there, and if I mean if you're comparing this to like a husky, yeah, the husky's better. I mean it's smoother. But they're also a lot more money for. I guess this is getting the price of this thing. Uh, I actually bought this at HomeDepot.com only because they have coupons. Like if you spend so much, you get a hundred dollars off. Hundred dollars off. So these retail for about $820 to $850, depends what bar you get. And it's, I got $100 off that, so it was what, you know, $730. It's a, for what you get for $730, it's a very good saw. I mean, it, you can use it for milling, uh, it's, you know, 80 cc's. I think it's rated at 8 horsepower, like 7.9 or something. Uh, I know the one Husky here, let's see, I had the specs, some specs pulled up on it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, the Huskies, they're better saws. I mean, they're smoother, but you pay a lot more money for them. Uh, for, no, no internet here, of course. Uh, what was that one? It was like 70cc one. It was like 8.5 horsepower. I just look at the specs of this. So yeah, this is a 24 inch bar here. They come in 27s, 32, and 36 inch bar like. Uh, I was gonna get some more bars and chains. I got a bunch of chains, I need some more bars. Uh, I was probably gonna get a 27 or 32. Cause around here, we don't have real big timber. Uh, what I was kind of, this year is probably about as big as it gets really. So I mean, 27 would be about right. It runs a 24 real fast and powerful. Yeah. I don't know how to do with a 36. But. Alright, we'll just get into some of the other things like the pros and cons, I guess, about it. Uh, we'll start with the pros. The bar. Let's see here. This is a good bar. I mean, I do a lot of cotton and I had it. I tried not to get. My chainsaws in places where I could bend it or anything. I learned my lessons at a very early age about not not breaking your shit, and so I, I try to take care of it. But it's straight, it's tough. You know, you still get predicaments where you know you can bend the bar, but it, the bar is very strong. It's a very good bar. Uh, what else can we say about it? 80 cc, so it, it does have, it has power. I mean, it really does work good. I, when I sharpen my chains, I file the depth gauge down pretty aggressive. That way I can control the saw. I can bog it down a little bit more and such. Uh, I cut in the heat. One day it was, it was in the 90s, like 100% humidity too hot. I mean, the saw outlasted me, like I couldn't cut anymore. And then, you know, in Sub-Zero, and it started up, runs, and I guess one thing, one thing I learned real quick, do not run this thing out of gas, because it does not have a priming system, and if it runs out of gas, you will be pulling that cord quite a bit till she starts. I learned that. As far as smoothness, like I said, the Huskies are a lot smoother. I have arthritis in my hands from working ever since I was like 12 years old and I can run this saw all day and it's not that bad. So it's pretty smooth, it really is. 
said for the price point too, you get a lot of soft for your money. And let's see, some of the cons I don't really care about. Some people do. I mean, it's 2020. It's time to get rid of the, the chain adjuster on the inside there. You know, I don't I don't really care because the you know your regular tool it doesn't fit in there good. You almost need. I got a big screwdriver I always carry with me anyway. So that, that works good for there. Uh, what else do I have to say about it? Cons. Probably, and like I said, it'd be nice if I had like a, I was always going to put a D-ring handle on there. Never did. It has a manual luber. Oh, sorry, jeez. It has a manual luber there. So, which is good because you start cutting big heavy wood. You need a little bit of extra oil. And, okay, one of the, probably the biggest cons I don't like about these is the uh, intake system. It's okay, but it is not the best. I wish they could improve it. It's, it doesn't seal the best. Uh, you probably can't. This camera kind of sucks at focusing, so I'm sorry. I'll, maybe I'll show you on my other camera here when I do like the test. Uh, there's some sawdust in there, but I mean the filter works. You can see the oil sucking through there. So it it's like it's not the best, but it's okay. I wish I could improve on that some. Okay, I got my other camera here a little better. I'll show you uh, what I mean about the air, air filtration system. As you can see, it's kind of dirty in there. It's the oil from the oil filter. So, like I said, this has one point of retention, really. And then the cap kind of holds it down around there. So you got to make sure that that cap's screwed on tight. But... That's probably the only thing I really don't like, and it uses a lot of gas. <laughs> it uses gas, that's for sure. So, and probably the other thing I don't really care too much about myself. It's pretty heavy. I'm gonna say it weighs just over 16 pounds, which uh, Mama didn't raise no bitch, so I don't care about that. And let's see, I guess that's about it, really. It's it's a great saw. I love it. Good workhorse, you know. And I'll get, I'll get a log set up here. I had to, it, it started pouring down rain when it was cutting, so I had a, I brought a couple up with me at the garage here. I'll show you. Uh, 18 inch cherry here. I'll show you. I warmed the saw up some. Show you how, how she cut through here. My chain isn't the best. Uh, I was gonna get a new one. I have so many I go through them, but let's just see what it does. It's weird. <laughs> chain on but it's really wet wood too it's just cut so so yeah there it is uh if you have any questions on it feel free to ask you know i don't know everything about it but i've been around them for a while so is that any questions just ask them.